Hey everyone, this is Nada from The Crafter. Recently, I have received many requests on Facebook and Instagram asking me about the technique I used on this piece, which I call the Driftwood Technique. Thank you so much for all your comments and questions. It made me very happy that all I wanted to do is to make that video for you today. Let's start. I'm gonna start with cleaning my piece with crude cutter and then with water. You're gonna find all the product links in the description below. I will take off the hardware and work on the drawer separately. I sanded and cleaned my piece and applied the first coat of Dixie Bell Boss in Grey. We're gonna let it to dry and then we're gonna apply the first coat of Dixie Bell paint in Driftwood and we're gonna leave it to dry again. Now back to our drawers. I sanded, cleaned, and started with a coat of passing gray. I went back to my piece and applied the second coat of driftwood and did the same steps to the drawers. Now to our favorite part, which is our driftwood technique. It's a very simple and easy technique. All you're gonna need is a dry brush. I use this blending brush from Hobby Lobby and any other brush that you have. And you will also need your glaze. Today I'm using Van Dyke Brown. This is a water-based glaze and you're gonna need a bunch of paper towel. Now, with the other brush, I brushed the glaze on my piece. You don't need too much of glaze on your piece. Then with a dry brush, you will go on horizontal straight lines and dry your brush after each pass on the glaze to keep it dry and try not to stop your line in the middle of your piece. Try to go with a dry brush from one side to another in a straight line. Dry your brush again and then you can give it another pass. I will apply the same technique all over my piece and overlapping sections and I will keep drying my brush with every pass on the glaze. We'll do the same exact technique on the drawers. Just make sure your brush is always dry. Then we're gonna have to leave our piece to fully dry. The next step will be applying the sandy white look. 
that you see in the picture. We will grab a dry chip brush and our Dixie Belle paint in buttercream and we'll go over the glaze with a dry brush, lightly without applying any pressure on the brush. And we need to make sure that the brush has the least amount of paint. And to make sure of that, all you gotta do is, after you dip your brush in the paint, you're gonna take it and tap it, either on a paper towel or a paper plate. You can put as much white as you desire on your piece, but on that one, I don't want too much of it. Next, we'll be painting our hardware and I painted it in caviar black. Once everything was dry, I applied my top coat polycrylic and let it to fully dry. That was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you like it, please like and subscribe so you can see upcoming videos on different techniques. Thank you for watching.